Hi, I uh, thought I'd put this uh, little YouTube video together to show people how to convert their um, Raspberry, and, uh, Raspberry Pi into a um, BBC Micro, or at least emulate it. Uh, there seems to be lots of little bits and pieces of information about how to do this all around the internet, but no, uh, no one guide um, to show you all the steps. So hopefully, um, I can put all of those steps in this uh, in this video, and you can. Uh, you can give it a try. Um, um, the first thing I have to say is that I assume you've got a Raspberry Pi um, and that you know how to install Noobs, uh, this uh, new out-of-the-box software, um, directly onto the SD card. Um, the instructions are here on the Raspberry Pi website, so I'm not going to explain how to do that. Um, this software allows you to install um, one of several uh, operating systems onto the Raspberry Pi. The one that we will need is Risk OS. So if you're not uh, if you're not using that at the moment and you have perhaps been playing with uh, Raspbian or something um, and you've got work saved then this process will erase all of that work. So a word to the wise uh, either back up to some other uh, external uh, memory or get yourself a completely new SD card if you're going to start this process. The uh, next thing to say is that uh, you'll need uh, the emulation software. The emulation software is called Bbit. Uh, if you Google for Bbit, you'll uh, find it quite easily. Um, and from this site, um, we need to download two items, the emulator itself, as well as the ROMs that the BBC Micro uses, the operating system and the disk filing system. Um, a word to the wise here as well that um, when you download uh, anything that's been zipped up for Risk OS, um, don't extract it on um, on a Mac or on a PC. Um, when you extract it, it'll lose all of its file type information and it won't work. That was uh, one thing that I tripped up on. Um, so what I'm going to do here when I download Bbit is I, on my Mac I do a double finger click, which gives me a menu. Um, and then I do download file as. I'm going to be putting it straight onto a USB memory stick because I'm going to then put that USB memory stick into the Raspberry Pi once um, Risk OS is installed on it. So I've created a folder on my uh, memory stick. It's called uh, BBC Micro and uh, I'm going to uh, save that file in there. Also on this site, as I mentioned a moment ago, are the ROMs, the read-only memory. Um, and again, I'm going to do a double click, uh, sorry, a two-fingered click, and then uh, download and pop that in the same folder on the USB stick. Uh, the next thing that you'll need, um, because it doesn't come already on Risk OS, um, is a piece of software that you can get from apdl.co.uk um, and it's a read-only version of SparkFS which allows you to unzip the um, software that we've just put onto the memory stick. Um, so again I'm going to do a two-finger click and put that into the same folder. Save that. And then finally, um, you'll need some games. Um, there are quite a few websites out there. The one that uh, was out there for some time but seems to have disappeared is a website called BBC Lives. But um, if you Google around, there's uh, lots of other sites that allow you to get some of the uh, classic games. Uh, this one is bbcmicrogames.com. And uh, you simply select which uh, which game you'd like, download it, all the old classics are there um, and uh, for the sake of this video I'm just going to download the uh, the welcome disc again two finger click and um, just pop that straight onto the uh, memory card. Right so now you've got all of your components the next step is to uh, 
actually uh, go over to the Raspberry Pi uh, and install Risk OS, um, and then we'll pop in the memory stick and uh, we'll show you how to, to do the last few steps to uh, convert your Raspberry Pi into a BBC Micro. Right, so here we are with our Raspberry Pi, and I've held down the shift key um, as it booted, and it's taken me into this menu, the noobs menu. We're going to install Risk OS. Um, just need to check some config. You don't need to do this. This is just uh, for the purposes of uh, making sure I can record it. And we click install. Remember, this is going to overwrite everything that you've done. Um, it's going to take a little while, so we'll fast forward. But just to let you know, uh, inside the Raspberry Pi is also the um, USB stick with all the files that we've got on. So I'm going to fast forward now, and I'll see you on the other side. So here we are at the end of the process. And uh, I'm just going to click on the OK button, and it should reboot the Raspberry Pi. Um, it um, hopefully will start booting there. Now, uh, it is at a bit of a awkward uh, screen um, resolution. Um, so as soon as I can, I'll change that screen resolution. But uh, on a first boot, it does have a few uh, last bits and pieces to do. Uh, adjust in the fonts, um, and it'll open a, uh, uh, or attempt to open a browser window. But of course, I've got no uh, internet connection, so um, we can only get so far with that. Uh, almost finished. Um, there we go. Now, something to remember on uh, Raspberry Pi is, uh, sorry, on Risk OS is that a left mouse click um, does work, but to get um, into certain options and things, you have to do a middle mouse click. I'll just close this window. There we go. It makes it a bit easier to read, and um, we'll get rid of this uh, warning about the fact that we don't have any connection to the outside world. Now the bottom here is my SD card with a left click. Um, this is where I'm going to transfer all the files to. For the create a new folder to start with by doing a middle mouse button click. New folder and across we go. We're going to call that BBC Micro. And also at the bottom left you should be able to see um, so I just open this and close the other one, try and keep things tidy. Also at the bottom you should be able to see the uh, the USB stick. So we're going to open that one, a bit of a fiddly click. I think there are some issues with the uh, the GUI here, but anyway, on my memory stick you can see uh, again the BBC Micro folder where we copied all the files. The first thing that we have to sort out is the um, application that allows us to unzip SparkFS. So we'll drag that over to the SD card and we have to change the file type. So middle mouse button click and across into the option file and then down to set type. And this uh, We have to set the type of this file to ampersand FF8. That's ampersand FF8. Now this is a self-extracting uh, type of file so when we double click it it'll come up with a uh, uh, window and then it says dearchive where well, we drag it back into the window where we were and uh, there we have the application so we'll double click of that um, spark fs it appears at the bottom of the screen and then we can drag on top of it any files um, that we want to unzip like um, bbit so there are all the bbit files um, with all their correct file type information and highlight them and just drag them into our uh, SD card folder. We'll close that window. And the next thing is the ROMs. Um, if you hold the shift key down and double click on the bbit icon, it actually opens it up as if it were a folder. If you don't hold the shift key down, it runs the application. But before we run it, we need to put the ROMs in this ROM folder. So again, from the um, USB stick, I'm going to open the zipped up files. Um, there they are in uh, one of those application folders. Hold the shift key down, double left click, and we're going to drag the ROMs folder 
over to the SD card. And that's, there it is. Uh, there we go. And uh, then we can tidy up a bit. But before we tidy up, just worth double checking it did work. There they are. There are the three ROMs basic, DFS, and the operating system. So we'll tidy up, close those folders. As you can see, it uh, does seem to have a few issues with the bits of window being left over. Anyway, the last thing is the welcome um, program. We're going to unzip that. There it is on the uh, memory stick. We need to drag it um, across. Oh, not there, sorry, my fault. Let's just close that uh, close that window first because we're inside the application. We'll drag it to our main folder, like so. And again, we have to set the file type. So that's a middle mouse button click, and across to file and down to set type. Now, any um, one of these uh, disks that you you grab images, you set it to DFS in capitals and an I in capital image. DFS image, whether that's uh, an image file that you brought or an SSD file, um, then it uh, changes its icon to uh, a little. Uh, five and a quarter inch floppy disk. Now, next thing we have to do is run the application. You double click it, double left click it that is. It appears at the bottom, but before we um, actually run it for real, middle mouse click and go um, into options. If you don't do this first, then the um, emulation is all squat on your screen. It's all, uh, um, so you have to set display mode to high. Then, when you Double click it, you should get something that looks quite familiar the uh, BBC Micro uh, standard screen. That's all good news. Press F12 to come out, that's F12, and then we can double click to this uh, welcome disk. Now it doesn't look as if it's done anything, but it takes you back into the emulator. And if we do a star dot to see what the files are, there they are, there's the, the welcome disk loaded. So now if I hold down Shift and press break, that boots into it. And away we go. We've got our uh, application running. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, quick uh, guide to setting up a BBC Micro on your Raspberry Pi. If you have any comments, leave them at the bottom. Uh, thank you very much.